going on this weekend with the Golden Globes tomorrow. What made the BAFTA Tea event a must-stop at for you? Well, uh, this is uh, one of those events where I've never been in, so I'm really, really excited to be here. And, uh, you know, I... Uh, I don't know. There's so many people here who are going to be lots of fun. It'd be really great to get together with all the Zero Dark Thirty folks. And so I felt like this was a, a good start off for the whole season. You know what I mean? Started off nice and easy and slow and not too much drinking. <laughs> now, of course, Zero Dark Thirty has already received so many accolades this award season. How does it feel to, to have this recognition from, you know, all the various award shows, but the Golden Globes, of course, which are tomorrow? Uh, it's really, really great. It's, it's great to be part of it, uh, to be, uh, you know, I thought we were doing something exciting when we were there filming. and. Uh, you know, I'm a big Catherine Bigelow fan, so I couldn't wait to work with her. And uh, uh, it, it just feels really nice to be part of the, the whole thing and to be part of something that I'm really proud to be part of. And so I'm, I'm pretty happy right now. And speaking of Catherine, what was it like working with her? Oh, that was excellent. That was so much fun. And she's a really great director. You know, I've been telling people all over the place, she could have made a 14-hour film with the amount of footage that was shot, but she really crafted together a great film. And I'm just really proud of her and happy for her. You know, there was a lot of controversy in Washington surrounding the film. Was that surprising to you at all? I was surprised by it. I was surprised by the politics of it. Um, and then uh, once we got to do the film, uh, I was again still surprised by it. You know, politics is a tough game. <laughs> it really, really is.